Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Manzur Ahmad, lecturer history. Our today's topic for 11th class students of history subject is What were the interesting features of the inventions made by different inventors uh, during the period between 17th and 18th century AD? Dear students, we know that a number of inventions were made in the 17th and 18th century in Europe and a number of machines were invented during this period and the question that we have been asked is what were the interesting features of the invention that were made during this period dear students let us answer the question the interesting features of the inventions of various machines that were invented during the period between 16th and 17th century were the inventors the interesting features of this invention were the inventors because most of the inventors who invented various machines had no scientific training and they were not scientists they were daily workers and knew least about scientific researches so this is very much surprising and interesting feature of the inventions that inventions were made by those people who did not know ABC of the sinus, who had no scientific training, who had no technological training. Let us see who are the inventors and what they invented. Number one, water frame. Water frame was basically a spinning machine that was powered and run by a wheel and that wheel used to rotate with the help of water. For making textiles so this water frame was invented by Richard Arkwright in 171769 AD and this Richard Arkwright who invented this water frame was a barber and he was a wig maker he had no scientific training number one number two another second invention that is a spinning mule the spinning mule was basically another machine that was used to spin cotton and other uh, fibers in large quantity or other thread in large quantity and produce textiles in huge quantity in less time. And this spinning mule was invented by Samuel Crompton in 1779 AD. And this Samuel Crompton who invented the spinning mule who revolutionized the production of textile sector in the industries this similar Crompton had no technical skills had no scientific knowledge he was a he was a common man number third the what this power loom power loom was basically a machine an apparatus that was powered and run by water steam or electricity rather than by bare human hand and this power loom was used to weave threads in the process of making various textiles. And this power loom was invented by uh, Edmund Cartwright. And this Edmund Cartwright, who invented this power loom, knew least about machines. He had studied medicine, literature, and agriculture. He had nothing to do with machines at all. So, despite having no knowledge of machines, no knowledge of scientific research. This Edmund Cartwright was the inventor, was the inventor of power loom, an important machine which was used in the process of weaving threads in making cloths. Similarly, another important invention was the steam engine. Steam engine was basically an engine which was uh, used, which this engine. It is, uh, the steam engine was an engine that used steam to generate power. In this engine, it was a steam with the help of which the power was generated, and with the help of that power, the engine used to work, and other other uh, this different kinds of works used to be used to take place in industrial sectors in, in machines. So it was with the help of the steam engine that different machines worked, and this steam engine was invented. In 1698 AD by Thomas Savery. He was an army officer. 
the Thomas Savery, who built a model steam engine in 1698 AD, had nothing to do with scientific research. He was simply an army officer, and an army officer discovered Thomas Savery. They discovered this model steam engine. Another important invention was flying shuttle. Dear students, what is this flying shuttle? This flying shuttle is basically a machine, a mechanized device or a machine used for weaving of thread, which made weaving easy and fast. And this, the designer or the inventor of this flying shuttle was John Key. And this, uh, this John Key was a weaver and a carpenter. He had nothing to do with scientific knowledge. In the same way, another invention during the period was the spinning jenny. And this spinning, what was the spinning jenny? Spinning jenny was basically a machine uh, which had multi spokes, or a multi, uh, we can say a machine or a multi spokes spinning machine, spinning wheel, which was used to produce yarn, that is thread. So the spinning jenny was basically. A multi spokes machine, multi spokes spinning wheel, which used to produce yarn or thread for making clothes, for making textiles. And the spinning jenny was invented by James Hargreaves, who was a weaver and a carpenter. So, in nutshell, we mean to say the interesting feature of the inventions during 18th, 17th and 18th century was that, that the inventors who invented major inventions had no scientific knowledge had no research knowledge, but were simple daily wage workers, daily workers and common people. But these common people made several inventions uh, during it, uh, 17th and 18th century in Europe. Thank you.